Alright, so today's video is going to be a little bit different. I started not to do a video on this because it's not that common, uh, but I'm going to be adding a decorative gable in uh, piece to the front of my house. Just kind of give it some cur curb appeal and just kind of dress the house up a little bit. But I had to figure out the pitch of my roof and the way that I did that is I took some cardboard up a ladder and I just kind of held it in place and traced behind it. There was enough room there to get a pencil in to kind of get some long enough marks to where I could bring it back into the shop and then actually draw these lines longer. Now, if this is the, the pitch of my roof, uh, I need to come down at least around 28 inches. That's the top of that vent uh, that's in that gable. So this, in this area is where I want the majority of that wood structure. So I just basically traced it out like I said. I cut it out with a pair of scissors. I'm gonna be using some old fence panel boards um, from left over from the picket fence video that you guys uh, watched. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a card up and also a link in the description so you can go back and check in or catch up on that stuff. But these are some leftover panels. These, these are like a dollar and fifty cents a piece, so they're relatively cheap, uh, and you can get them at most home stores. And all of this will be held together by the structure that is inside of here. It all makes sense as we as we go. So let's get to it. The first thing that I need to do is cut one of these boards. Uh, to the appropriate angle that I found with the template. Now I'm just lining the template up with the edge of the board and striking a mark here and that's where I'll make my first cut. Uh, this is about a 20 degree angle uh, and then the other board that will meet this one is going to be at a 90 degree. So just one at the 20 degree angle. Now the lower side of this angled cut is going to be lined up with the top of the template and then the other board is going to be slid up into place to the top of the longest part of the angled board and I'll just put this together with a couple of brad nails uh, just to kind of keep everything nice and tight uh, keeping the template in place so I make sure I'm getting the right shape here uh, and this is just to kind of keep everything together while I build it now the next piece that I cut is going to be for uh, the base or the bottom part that's going to hold the previous two boards you saw in place now I'm just roughly tacking this in place with, with some brad nails. I'm fixing to take it back off. I just want to make sure this is going to hold uh, pretty good. But I'm going to cut a decorative piece in this lower uh, board that I just installed. Uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out the design that I want. And I lay another board in there and just kind of trace out you know, where the cuts are going to be made. Uh, and this is going to be, give me a pretty good idea of you know where this board's going to sit and it also give me a good idea on exactly where the other two boards in addition to this one is going to fit into place so you can see my marks i've got to cut those i'm going to do that off camera uh, and then we'll come back with this piece and install it in just a little bit but first i went ahead and took that off and here i've got a, a few nails uh, finished nails and a wooden ruler yardstick uh, to make my curve and just cutting it cutting that at the bandsaw I just want to kind of give some visual uh, interest you know f for the whole I guess overall structure this is gonna be the only piece that's curved so I'm just adding a little bit of visual interest so I want to tack this back into place and then the piece that I just cut before right before I did that this piece here I can now install that one uh, drilled a couple of pocket holes on the back side so you can't see it uh, from the ground when you're looking up at it, at it. Uh, there I installed it with a couple of pocket holes uh, screws and now I'm just going to tap this back into the center where it should go use some brad nails to hold it in place and I'm just using my speed square there just to give me a reference of where the edge of the board is now as I mentioned I'm just figuring this out as I go so I've got another board here in place uh, where I think I want this I'm just gonna make a few marks and then take it to the bandsaw and cut it actually went ahead and made two drilled some pocket holes so I can attach it to uh, the lower board and that's pretty much it this thing is pretty simple uh, so there's really no design here I just kind of built it as I went uh, but that's the finished piece now I can sand it stain it and get ready to install it okay so I'm getting ready to go hang this gable piece that I made uh, and I've got to climb a ladder I've got a 20 foot extension ladder of course I won't be 20 feet in the air but Nonetheless, I've got to climb the ladder uh, up to the 
this peak of the of the roof on the front of my house and I've got to carry my drill I've got to carry screws uh, the piece that I made uh, and and work above my head so it's gonna be a little bit uh, to handle but and that's why I like this vest and I want to show you why just in case um, this is your first time here or you've seen me wear the vest and haven't heard me talk about it or have seen me use it in this situation uh, but the drill that I use has a little clip on it uh, the vest has webbing so I can hang it on the front if I want to. Now that might get in the way of me climbing a ladder. So sometimes uh, I like to hang it on the back of this strap here and so it's not in the way. Uh, that'll allow me to use my hands. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be carrying this piece so I've gotta be careful, but that allows me to not have to worry about the drill. It's hanging on my vest and I can use it once I get up to the top. Uh, so, but another thing that I want to do is carry some extra screws. Now I've got a magnetic piece here on the front of my vest. I can do that or I've got an accessory here uh, that is a magnetic wrist strap and I like to use this uh, in projects because it's so convenient and I'm all about convenience but it's got a magnetic patch here. I'm going to carry just, you know, four, four extra screws and they'll go right here, this magnetic uh, patch is really strong so those will not come off unless I pull them off but they'll be out of the way then I won't have to worry about them and if I need them if one of the screws fall out or they break or I get kind of sideways on a screw that falls I've got extra here and I don't have to worry about digging in my pockets or carrying them in my mouth like most most of us do so anyway that's how I'm gonna uh, be proactive with having extra screws. And by the way, this is one of my modular shop storage solutions. I've got one over here in the other corner uh, that the CNC sits on. This is a uh, eight drawer system here that I have with little containers with screws and such in it. And it's just really handy to have uh, right here by the drill charging station that I also made. I've got plans for the drill charging station uh, and this modular shop storage solution. So if you're interested in those, go check them out. I have links down in the description for you.